Okay, not to say that you can't have these again. You just gotta eat a whole lot less of it. Honestly, when I significantly reduce consuming these things, like my gut health significantly increased. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are back, welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about five things that were causing problems with my gut and I'm gonna give you guys good replacements. First is soda. <sighs> you know, honestly, the biggest thing about soda is all that sugar. So much sugar in it, y'all. So a good replacement is a prebiotic soda. Now, since these are prebiotic, they actually help with your gut health. However, you do have to watch out for some of them that still are pretty high in sugar. So far, I've tried a couple different flavors from Poppy. I really like their soda. Like, I really like her soda. And I heard her story is good too. A couple other ones that I do know about is Olipop and Culture Pop. Now I haven't tried those yet, so I can't really say what I think about it, but you can definitely check those out. Second, coffee. Listen, coffee would destroy my stomach and I would still drink it like an idiot. My stomach would be tore up because of all the acid in there, the caffeine and everything. I just couldn't handle it. But I really like the way coffee tastes. Oh, so I actually stopped drinking coffee about three and a half years ago. So a good replacement is herbal teas. Now for the longest, I couldn't find one that tastes similar to coffee, but I found one to chino herbal tea it's made with mushrooms and herbs and things like dandelion root y'all it tastes absolutely amazing i drink it pretty much every day they have a ton of flavors to choose from a few of my favorites caramel nuts hazelnuts vanilla nut dark chocolate gingerbread candy cane was i think only seasonal so another thing i really like about this tea is that it is no caffeine no acid and it's also a prebiotic, so it helps with my gut. Why wouldn't I drink it? Like I said, they have a ton of different flavors. Y'all definitely go and check them out. I do have a promo code to get you 10% off. I am Nilsa, or you can click the link in the description. Now, I'ma just keep it real with y'all. I was actually using them before I even got this promo code, so this is all 100% honesty. Now you can drink herbal floral teas such as chamomile and lavender and hibiscus. Hibiscus is also one of my favorite teas to make. Or you could do a combination of different teas. There's so many you can choose from. Now, if you're getting any value out of this video, go ahead and tap that like button and subscribe so you keep getting this content. Three, pasta. Now this one was a big one for me because I ate pasta all the time. Not only did I have problems with the gluten in it, but it just was too much for my stomach to deal with. A great substitute that I have for this is chickpea pasta. Chickpea pasta is high in fiber and it helps your digestion. Now I tried a few different brands like Barilla or you say Barilla, but my absolute favorite is Bonza pasta. They have elbow, linguine, spaghetti, shell, like all of of them and that pasta tastes delicioso or cow's milk yeah cow's milk is just first of all i was lactose intolerant and i was still drinking it like a dummy anyway a lot of people are lactose intolerant they still tear that milk up but to be completely honest dairy causes a lot of mucus which is one reason why so many people deal with like acne that's my body was literally taking all the mucus and stuff from that cow's milk and pushing out my skin my face was horrible not only was my face horrible but my stomach was tore up too the way i had to run to the bathroom y'all after consuming some cow's milk like it was a good 24 hours for recovery. Great substitutions would be dairy-free milk. Now, now there's quite a few different options to choose from. You have hemp, you have soy. I'm not a fan of soy. I don't do it for personal reasons. Then you also have oat milk. Now I've tried oat milk. Um, It's cool and depending on what you're trying to make with it, it's actually pretty good. Like you can use it as a good creamer. A good creamer with that Ticino tea, y'all. My personal favorite is almond milk. Now there's this big old debate on like what's being added to what almond milk. So I'm not going to like promote any specific brand because honestly I'm trying to make my own almond milk I saw that little is it a cow milk machine thing you put on the counter and make your own almond milk I'm trying to get that now I do love adding almond milk to my smoothies my protein smoothies specifically because your girl's trying to gain some weight back y'all since that incident happened with that company I ain't gonna name no names but y'all my stomach and everything was tore up my liver was enlarged it took like six months for me to recover and during that time frame I lost about 15 pounds I'm actually trying to gain like 15 pounds back on my weight gain journey so if y'all like to join me subscribe five 
meat. I'll be honest with you, every time I eat meat now, my stomach feels some type of way. I eat a primarily plant-based diet, so like 90% of the time, I am eat fruits, nuts, vegetables, and grains. Every now and then, I'll have like chicken or turkey or fish. To be completely honest, whenever I do eat it, like my stomach just be like, why? I feel like I'm just gonna cut it out completely pretty soon. Some great substitutions for meat would be mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I eat them all the time with everything. Now, some people eat tofu and like I said, I don't do soy, so. So there's quite a few different mushroom options out there. You have portabella, you have baby bella, oyster, you have lion's mane. Like there's so many options. Depending on what you're making, one mushroom might be better than the other. So for instance, if you're doing like fried chicken, I've seen that the oyster mushrooms actually do better than like a baby bella. Now these are a few things that I changed about my diet that helped my gut, y'all. That helped my gut out. It also helped my hair grow back because if you didn't know, your girl was baldy. I had alopecia hair out of for about 10 years and you can definitely check that video out right here. But I grew my hair back because of some of these changes. Let me know what you think in the comments and until next time, mwah.